Hello. In this video, we are going, going to discuss vector form of Laurent transformation. We know that uh, in special theory of relativity, Laurent transformation uh, is expressed like this. Suppose there is a S frame and there is S dash frame. S dash frame is moving with velocity V uh, in suppose XX dash direction with respect to S, okay? Now suppose there is uh, some uh, event occurring at this location and coordinate of this event with respect to S frame is X, Y, Z, and T. Okay. And coordinate of this event with respect to S dash frame is X dash, Y dash, Z dash, and T dash. Okay. Then we know that Lorentz transformation relates these two coordinates and time like this. X prime is equal to X minus VT or into gamma. And uh, T prime equal to T minus X into V by C square or into gamma. Okay, and y dash is equal to y and z dash is equal to z. So this is the uh, Lorentz transformation that we mostly know, okay? Now we are going to discuss, uh, suppose S prime frame goes in some arbitrary direction, then how to write the Lorentz transformation, okay? So let's see, suppose there is S frame and uh, S prime frame is going in some arbitrary direction, let's say something like this. So it is going in this direction. This is S prime frame going in this direction with velocity V. So V is velocity of S dash S prime frame with respect to S frame. Suppose there is uh, some event occurring here. And so event can be anywhere. Suppose uh, it is here. So suppose its position vector with respect to S frame is R vector. Okay. Now you see, this is the direction of This is the direction of velocity of S prime frame with respect to S frame. Okay, we can just show it like this. Okay, ye direction is ka, dekhye, either. Suppose it is going in this direction with velocity V. Okay. So now you see this R vector can be resolved parallel to parallel to this uh, velocity vector and perpendicular to this velocity vector. See why we are doing uh, this. Uh, is actually related to this Lorentz transformation. Here you can see that the coordinate which is parallel to the directional velocity is getting transformed in this manner. And coordinate which is uh, perpendicular to the directional velocity of S prime frame remains unchanged. Okay. And in the um, uh, uh, expression for time also, the coordinate which is uh, parallel to the directional velocity that actually comes here. Okay. So now here, so th that's why. Uh, we know that uh, coordinates which are parallel to velocity transform and coordinates which are perpendicular to velocity do not transform. So that's why we will take its parallel and perpendicular component. Okay, component parallel to velocity and component perpendicular to velocity. Okay. So we want to resolve karna chahte hai. Okay, parallel and perpendicular to velocity. So we can write R vector like this. Uh, component of R vector parallel to velocity and this parallel represents component parallel to velocity. Okay. And component of R vector perpendicular to velocity. Okay. We can write like this. So now you see here R vector component parallel to velocity can be written like this R dot V cap and V V cap. So when we take dot product of R with uh, velocity vector, we get component um, of R vector parallel to V vector. And just to express it as a vector, we are multiplying by unit vector. Okay. And here now we need component of R vector, which is perpendicular to uh, velocity vector. Okay. So for that, what we are going to do is uh, we are subtracting a parallel component of R vector with uh, total R vector. Okay. So that will be R minus V vector, V cap and here V, V cap. So when we subtract parallel component from R vector, we uh, are left with only perpendicular component. Okay. So this is how we can express R vector. So this represents a uh, component of R vector, which is parallel to velocity. And this whole thing represents component of R vector, which is perpendicular to velocity. Now we know that co component uh, coordinate, which is parallel to velocity gets transformed in this way. So therefore, if we write R primed vector, uh, position vector of event with respect to S prime frame, okay, then it will be something like this. This this parallel one will, rep uh, will get transformed in this manner. Okay, so we'll write like this R dot v vector and here v vector v cap minus v vector or into t and multiplied by gamma so this was parallel to the directional velocity 
here x was parallel to the direction of velocity so x was transforming like this so here this coordinate will transform in this manner okay and since y and z you see are perpendicular to the direction of velocity and these do not transform so here also this perpendicular component will not transform so it will remain as it is okay r minus r vector dot v cap and here v cap so that is the vector form of Lorentz transformation okay and you see in time uh, time transformation coordinate which is parallel to the velocity actually comes here so we can write here t primed is equal to yeah so this is just uh, there is no back okay so we can write it like this t prime is equal to t minus we can generalize it like this okay uh, this is r dot v and divided by c square and multiplied by gamma okay so if velocity is in i cap direction you see uh, dot product will give you x and v okay so this is the general form of lorent transformation okay so time transformation is almost similar okay but uh, coordinate transformation is somewhat different okay now if you put here v suppose you put v vector is equal to v into i cap okay then you will get back this relation okay you can check that so not only this relation you will get back you will get these two relations also if you put v equal to v i cap okay so this is the general form of lorent transformation or you can say vector form of lorent transformation all right